Thank you, Chris. Um, I asked Mr. Um, uh, I asked Mr. Um, uh, Freilich, Freilich uh, just before we went to the hurricane what he thought the end game was. What do you think it is? Well, the end game for us, and it happened to be for the entire region, plus the international consensus, is a Palestinian state. That the Palestinian people are a people, they are ancient, they have the birthright, the inalienable right of self-determination on their land, having their own government, having their own state. That's our end game. But the question is, what is Israel's end game? What is Netanyahu's end game? And it's obvious. If, if the end game is security, many security experts would tell you he has created humongous security issues for Israel. Hmm. He has created so many enemies for Israel uh, by this sheer use of brutal force. Do you think he's radicalized and, another generation of the Palestinian uh, uh, youth? Uh, he has radicalized another generation of Palestinian, of Arab, uh, of international, uh, Israel's image in the international... So how do you deal with that? As, the, as, as a, a representative of the Palestinian Authority, you have to get hold of this. Yeah. What, how does the Palestinian Authority seize the initiative? The Palestinian national institutions uh, see this as uh, an opportunity not just to look backward. This isn't just about one day, as the Israelis try to make it. This is not even about the last 36, five days. It's about 28,000 days, 76 years of same, same of oppression, and an Israeli mentality that you can simply bypass the Palestinian issue, deny Palestinian rights, mm -hmm. and then en masse uh, engage in a, a, a collective act of suppression. Mm -hmm. This has got to end. And how do we see this? By moving forward. And how do we move forward? It's very clear. Number one, we do need a ceasefire. Mm -hmm. International will has got to be enforced. And then you ask me, how are we going to enforce international will? Because I assure you, mm -hmm. Israel is not going to be uh, listening at the asking. Mm -hmm. It's clear. The U.S. asked. The rest of the world asked. We have to enforce. How do we enforce? Number one, arms embargo. And you've heard the French president only a couple of days ago saying that there has to be full arms embargo, and he adopted that policy. The UK has adopted a partial arms embargo. We want it to be full because the, the very tools that is allowing Israel to destroy itself. You know, sometimes if, you, if the West claims Israel to be their friend and a lie, and I really, we don't understand that statement, the shared values, given what the Israeli army has been doing and the Netanyahu government is, is saying. Yet the West continues saying that. The West is enabling Israel by giving them all these tools, the tools here are the weapons, to drive themselves off a cliff. How can Israel relate to the region anymore? Only by bombing regional cities, Beirut, Beirut, Syria, Lebanon, here and there, Gaza, what have you, Iraq, uh, 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 Yemen. You, you, you really, you think, bomb your existence into the region and for all these decades? Well, even its friends and allies have, have made that point too, Israel. But I, I do want to talk about this political horizon because Norway, Ireland, Spain recognised the state of Palestine in May. Slovenia in June, the Labour Party said before the election that it would recognise a Palestinian state as part of a peace process. And I, I've heard an interview that you did this morning. You are saying that statehood can only begin when it is recognised before the peace process. You are saying statehood before the peace process. But how many countries are moving to that position? The majority of the world. Now we are recognised by 150 countries, that's more than 70%. So why not the, the UK? You are that's, the representative uh, to the UK. That's exactly the conversation we're having. And what are they saying to you? Well, they are saying w it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. They say it's not a ra it's not, this is a right for the Palestinian people, we will do it. It's not a but gift. But is it recognising state but, first or is it peace process first? But they are playing or is with, it, or they, do they come together? Yeah, and what we are telling them, recognising a Palestinian state is the prerequisite for peace, not a byproduct of peace. And this is a moment when you come tool and you deliver for the cause of peace, you spend political capital and you say, okay, here is the path forward. The path forward is two states. If you believe in two states, confirm it by your actions, not just lip service. Uh, and admit Palestine as a full member in the UN, mm -hmm. and then the whole thing will flip upside down into the right direction. Yeah. It's now about Israel and Palestine. We don't discuss the fundamentals. We discuss minor details. We need clarity. And it is a right, and we believe that the British government should do this yeah. in weeks, not months. Hassab Zamlat, we've been a little bit squeezed by the governor of Florida, but good to talk to you as ever. Thank Very you for coming much. in.